While I was planning my films for this month and the aspects of dream analysis I'd like to discuss, I took to the job of skimming through my many dream journals. In one this morning, I found written proof of a concept I often talk about right there in my face. Many of you are aware that after giving birth to my first daughter, Tina, it was the appearance of a freight elevator in my dreams that led me to make a lifelong decision. The important point I wanna make about the freight elevator is the feelings its appearance in a dream brings up for me. My initial series of what I call my freight elevator dreams happened not long after Tina was born in 1973, some 50 years ago. Searching through my dream journals this morning, I opened to a dream dated April 29th, 1997, two days after Tina's 24th birthday. I'm showing you a snapshot of these two pages in my journal. Before I continue, allow me to explain what I call a dream map, especially so that you don't wonder about what appears to be a huge mess. Here's the process I follow when mapping a dream, and you can follow my method too, or you can choose one that fits for you. It's all good. When I write my dream in a journal, I circle the symbols and on the sides of the page, I write down my definition of that symbol. I tend to square off the action and sometimes my feelings too, because suddenly and miraculously, it's the side columns that connect me to the waking circumstance I was discussing with myself in the dream. So you understand what you're really looking at in this journal entry. I can see it was during the time when I was researching my first book. In fact, it was also around the same time I opened the Dream Interpretation Center. Looking at the notes on the sides of these pages, I can both see and recall how it was more specifically during that week that I was preparing to do my first French speaking group. And I don't speak French very well. Hence, besides all these general events were making me feel wobbly and on unsure footing and generally uncomfortable, it was the very specific situation about my conducting a group in French that triggered this particular dream. And this is why I say that having a dream journal will be your biggest and best way to have a view of your own personal dream dictionary. It's not like those silly dictionaries you buy in a store. The symbols you choose to appear inside your dreams come from your vast and unique database. Since I'm over 50, I'm actually 72, I call it a filing cabinet. From the time you were born, every single memory and association you've ever had is stored in your unconscious mind. So if you want to say something to yourself, this filing cabinet opens up and you have there a vast reservoir of images to choose from. That's what I mean about the appearance of a freight elevator for me. Where did this image originally register? Well, when I was a little girl, sometimes my father would take me to his warehouse on the weekend on weekend mornings. And there was a huge freight elevator there with a wobbly floor and getting in there always had me a bit nervous. I'd settle myself down though, because I was always with my dad. So my inner shaky ground would settle. When the elevator first appeared in my dreams 50 years ago, the analysis pointed me to my father and it resulted in me figuratively inviting him and my mother into the elevator with me. In waking life, it meant reaching out to them for help with Tina and my decision-making around her birth. The freight elevator presented the solution to my waking situation at the time. Looking back at this freight elevator I found this morning, 
in another journal, I want to add how the entry is again the days around Tina's birthday. I'm not surprised to see how 24 years later and with my experience in writing and researching a book, opening my company and teaching a dream group in French, I was still using that same image as a way to say to myself, I don't feel my ground. Staying on the subject of dream journals, I realize I should say something about the wonderful idea of inviting your child to have one too. It's a fun and creative way to do a project together while at the same time, bring attention to the advantage of understanding your dreams. And the kids love it. When my youngest daughter, Emma Jo, was around four, we actually shared a journal. Since mine was already midway through, I invited her to record her dreams starting at the back of the same journal so we would meet in the middle. Don't get stuck thinking a journal has to be only created using words. As you can see by this picture, well, it's not a picture, it's the actual dream journal, you can use art to say something to yourself too. Some of you may have heard me recount one of my favorite examples of dream analysis using Jung's active imagination. A mother heard her little boy who was dreaming he was being chased by a giant. She immediately jumped in saying, oh yeah? Well, I'm coming right into that dream with you and we're gonna build a wall so high that the giant can't climb over it. Changing a scene in a dream, even though it's via a daytime discussion, succeeds in changing your mind. The mere suggestion immediately sets in motion a new framework for the child. Now his mother is inside the dream with him. So whatever waking circumstance triggered his dream in the first place, he can now face it with greater confidence because his mom is with him. By the way, active imagination applied even during the day can immediately shift how you're thinking when you do it for yourself too.